What is up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to basically find a bunch of your competitors and also how to tell you know what they're actually using for their store, a few plugins and stuff like that. Um, Cause I think it's super useful guys. Cause again, with kind of like the funnels and stuff that I teach and just how to go about things guys, and especially with job shipping being such an easy, uh, easy industry to get into guys, it's a lot of it can comes down to just, hey, look at competition, see what they're doing well, see what you can do better and then beat them at their own game or beat them at marketing, like market your stuff better than them, okay guys? So this is gonna be a really, really quick video, but I think it's super, super valuable. And um, just, you know, showing you guys, this is how you actually, um, you know, find competitors online and then determine, you know, what they're actually using, right? This can also go and help you guys with, hey, you know, I don't actually know what app they're using for this. I actually wanna use this and put it in my site, blah, 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 like that kind of stuff, guys, okay? So we're gonna hop into a screen share real quick. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you guys need to do. First of all, guys, this is basically how to find competitors in your niche, all right? So for example, say you are selling bracelets, okay? Um, and you're in the fashion niche and you wanna sell bracelets or you are selling bracelets, okay? This is actually how to find a bunch of competitors that are selling bracelets, okay? You're gonna go to your browser, preferably Chrome. So guys, to actually find competitors, you know, in your niche, whatever you're selling, right? So you're selling bracelets, we're actually gonna go to sites and then the double dot, I don't, I'm a dropout guys, I don't know what that word is. Um, and then you're gonna type in my-shopify.com, okay? And then you, again, I ran this for a bathing suit, but I wanna, I'm curious about bracelets, right? So then you're gonna type in your niche, right? So it's my-shopify.com space, and then whatever your niche is. So I'm gonna say, bra uh, let's find that right, bracelet. Is that how you say? Yeah, okay, bracelet, all right? You're gonna press enter. What this does is basically telling Google, I want you to find sites. Because again, guys, you guys know with your own Shopify sites that Shopify with your personal sites, it ends in, or it starts with my-shopify, right? So if you search bracelet, right, a lot of people, they when they create their sites, it's usually something to do with their name or like their niche, right? So what you can do here, guys, it's basically, it's basically pulling up all these different Shopify sites that are selling, you know, similar products. So now you get all this stuff and now you can tell, okay, these are all Shopify sites selling certain stuff, right? And I'm not saying, you know, you're gonna find good competitors. Um, frankly, this website looks like crap. Oh! I'm sorry, whoever owns that, but looking guys, that's just one way to actually figure out um, your competitors, right? So you can actually do some competition research, all right? Now, the next thing I wanna show you guys is actually how to find basically what, basi what a company is using, right? For maybe a particular plugin, a particular app, okay? So for example, I went on this website and this pop-up occurred and I was like, wow, this is a really clean pop-up. It doesn't seem too intrusive. I wanna see you know, if I can put that in my store, all right? What I do is I right click it, okay? And I'm gonna click inspect, okay? What this does is it pulls up basically the, the code, the HTML, whatever it is on the website and it highlights that particular thing, that particular plugin, whatever it's actually being used, and basically highlights it in blue here, so right? So all this code you're seeing on the site, on the right side of the screen, that's that code that makes up this pop-up, okay? Now, your job is to basically go in here and find anything related to just like a name, a URL, stuff like that, guys, which can kind of give it away as to what plugin they're using, okay? So for example, we're gonna look through here, right? You see a lot of these numbers and pixels basically determine like the size, the width, whatever this is. But then if we go here, guys, oh, we see a URL, right? Graphics.justuno.com, okay? That's basically the only thing we're seeing. We also see that repeated down below, graphics.justuno.com. So what I did, right, is I typed that in up here, justuno.com, and it brings it to a conversion marketing toolkit, all right? So now we just found out what they're using for their pop-ups, and now you can actually use that and implement that if you want, right? But then again, you're using Shopify, right? You may not necessarily want to use a third-party platform. So we're going to go to the Shopify app store and search just, oh, look, there we go. Okay, just do know. Now you literally found what your competition is using. You now found, like, guys, basically this video has shown you how to find your competition, how to find exactly what they're using, okay? Now there's other things you guys can use as well. For example, if we go back on this site, okay, uh, we're gonna exit out the, the screen, but basically there's, there's stuff like this, like plugins that you guys can use. Um, this is a lot more advanced though, but like it tells you like everything um, related to what they're doing, but this is more for like, very, very in-depth stuff. Um, not just say like, you know, surface layer stuff like, oh, what apps are they using? Um, who's like a pop competition, right? This is like way, way, way in-depth stuff. And then there's another app here, guys, called Ghostery, and this will tell you all the tracking things they're using. So you can actually determine the websites, you know, hey, they're actually you know, collecting data for Bing ads, for the Facebook pixel, for custom uh, audience, stuff like that. Um, it basically tells you everything they're tracking about you, which 
you guys can use and you guys can say like, oh, they're doing that and you know, maybe I should start looking into that, okay? So stuff like that, guys. I know this was a very, very quick video, but I hope it was super, super helpful. Um, just because I know it should be really helpful. Uh, now you guys can hear you guys like the takeaway of this video is, hey, you guys can find competitors in your niche and you guys can figure out what the hell they're using. So with that being said, there's no reason your website should not look good and basically be implemented well for conversions, guys. I hope this helps. I hope you guys leave a like. Don't forget to comment or respond to everybody's comments and don't forget to subscribe, guys. We're doing a video a day and I, I hope you guys enjoy the content. I'm, I'm you know, enjoying helping you guys and kind of dropping these little nuggets for you guys. Um, I'm sure some other YouTubers are gonna pick this up as well and um, make videos about it because it's just too good, all right? So don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. And make sure to check out the platform down below, guys. I'm super excited um, for you know everyone to join just like this in general. And um, I'll, see you guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related from the mastery course, the free PDFs, and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool. It's all night. I can do this all